goes to the dress room. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them up. Anne's got a great cheering section here as she starts round one with a teep right to the head. Kate keeping a very high guard. Nice combination there by Ann. Definitely, definitely got some good kicks. Yeah, she's she's definitely and very, very conditioned, good conditioned. Now look athlete. at this. This is how you clinch. Yeah, great clinch. Looking for dominant positions. Making room. M making room to They're throw both knees. Balance. Oh, Anne it's staying ball. very you. busy. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Jason. I had very to happy wait here. all night to watch this. Good body kick that lands there. And pushing her opponent, Kate, back with a nice teep. Look at, they're both thinking in there. Looking, shots looking up, for their shots. Kicking under punches. It's Kate doing a good job of bringing her hands right back to her face after her exchanges. Good, a good hook there that lands by Kate. Kate was punched on the inside. Anne's punched a little bit wide. Kate's timing her on the inside. I would like to see uh, more hips with the knees. There you go, and just she must have heard me. Turning it over, yeah, just yeah. a little bit more. When they start grabbing the leg like that, that means usually means they don't have an answer for it. Right. Uh, again, coming out of Hensel's, like you said, you know, she's got. Uh, oh, Joe's a master at yeah. clinch. Again, using those using those knees, using the clinch. And she yeah. just keeps driving those knees in. And you can yep. see, like, uh, what happens is Kate's bar body starts to buckle and she tries to grab the leg. Best thing to do, really, is to try to get that body lock so that person doesn't have those leverage you, you on that bring knee. Bring your hips in a little bit closer. Absolutely. Well, okay, hand you position, you just kind of... Block with the leg across the thighs, too, and shut it down. Looking to lift the, lift the elbow. And that ends our first round. Uh, and That's a Floyd Mayweather that does the best. Yeah. You're always fighting his fight. And he doesn't care if you like it or not. Nope. He's, you're always fighting his fight. Yeah, she starts off with those leg kicks pace. right away and moves out. See, and this, this she tied. Great job by Ann. But, yeah, like, but it's like Kate almost accepted the, the clinch there. Nice. Kate throwing her off balance and then going in for punches, backing uh, Ann up. Nice teep there, and following out with a nice right body kick and a teep. Now starting to push Kate back a bit. Again, Kate waiting, which is something that uh, my co-commentating partner does not like. <laughs> I mean, there's a time to wait if you're setting somebody up and if you're trying to draw them into something, but just to be standing there and looking at them, especially in a three-round fight, you can't, you can't wait. Kate throwing those knees at her own now. And Anne just staying very, very busy with her knees and always trying to go for the dominant position, spinning Kate. Look, Kate looking for that cross block. Wagner breaking him up. Nice combinations here by Anne. She's using her legs and her boxing well. She's definitely keeping her range. Yeah. So what happens is Kate kind of winds up walking into Ann's clinch, and then when and when Ann has it, she stays very busy. Oh yeah, she Kate returning. Definitely takes over in the clinch. Ann getting a bit more leverage, leverage there. I feel like Kate's just looking for that one move that grab the knee and sweep. But yeah, just Ann staying very, very busy, not letting Kate really set much up. Nice. Throwing a big body kick to end that exchange he is before, and I'm hungry. Yeah. I completely get it. I, I've had fighters where the fighter didn't show up for the fight. Yeah. All right, here we go in the third and final round. Kate coming out swinging. And looking for that big teep right away. Nice. Good positioning here. Goes for the body kick.
I can I can see what you're saying, Jason, about it. You know, Ann's uh, head being straight up and, and through the middle, and Kate not capitalizing on, on that. I can feel like a lot of they're waiting for the other person to engage to do something. Well, that was a good combination, right nice there. Nice combination. Oh, and then she she knew it and she went on it, but then she stopped. And a leg kick there. Kate's starting to let her hands go and tying up into that knee. Hands up high uh, in the clinch position. It gives you the opportunity to really hit that body. So you know, even even though some of those knees aren't necessarily strong. Ooh, that nice combination, nice. one, two, and that an uppercut. Nice. Then it lands a big two. She had the girl looking for the knee, and she stepped back and let the hands go. That Excellent. Was, that was nice. She might do it again. Look at that. Oh, nice. You know what? I love that when a fighter breaks out of the clinch in, in the exchange and then throws a, a yep. big right hand or throws something while the other person is getting their bearings, getting out of the clinch. She's always changing it up. Kate looking to use her boxing now, staying he uh, head hunting. One, two, threes were, were, were working. And using the knees. There's a tie up here, just Ann is just continuously staying busy. And that ends our third and final round between Kate Brady out of Weapons 9 and Ann Lieberman out of Henzo Gracie Academy. And just. All right, ladies and gents, we have a winner after three rounds of action. Winner by unanimous decision, representing Enzo Gracie.